So I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. Uh, I've been a fan since the very first one came out on PlayStation. I've played them all, beat them all, and I hate to say it, but the first one I've ever posted on my actual YouTube channel was uh, Operation Raccoon City, which was was god awful. So hopefully this does good. Uh, if you are just finding this video, I'd kind of like to know when you found my channel, whether you're subscribed to me already, or what series, or if you just found this one. Uh, and also, the first part of every series, I always like to make the first video very long. And uh, by doing that, I hope you guys can support it with likes, favorites, anything you guys can do to help out. Also, a uh, special thanks to all of you for helping me hit 400,000 subscribers. It means the world to me. And I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Look around. I don't think we got time to do that shit. Let's get going. Let's get going. <laughs> this plays. All right. So just so you guys know, the introduction to this game is a lot like Heavy Rain. Uh, I don't know if the whole game is like that. It kind of seems like it's gonna be one of those type games. Pretty badass though. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, I would actually uh, go ahead and say that this is the it's first. Not over yet. Hang on. This is the first Resident Evil game, like true Resident Evil game, I've actually played all the way through on my channel, or is, there, is going Helena. to be. I really hate to say that Resident Evil Operation Record City was my absolute first, but uh. Yep. I'll only slow you down. Just go. You're not getting off that easy. Come on. I'm gonna do my best to not really talk over the characters. I want you guys to experience this just After like I've experienced been through, it. It'd be a waste to give up now. The oh, fuck? Come on. Use some skills. Uh-oh. Quick time, here we come. Oh shit, that last one almost got me. <laughs> That's about to miss. Just waiting for that first zombie, you know? Damn, what happened here? Let's try this way. So just so you guys know, I'm a veteran when it comes to Resident Evil games. This. I've uh, played through the very first one on PlayStation. Played through two all the way with both characters. Played through three, four, five. The whole works, so. I'll be talking a lot about the story and everything. And just the history with it. If you guys are interested. Let's take a break. Finally got my gun out. 
There's gotta be a first aid kit in here somewhere. Handles pretty well, I will say that. It's, uh, it's very... I don't know, it, it feels like five. <laughs> but you can also switch the, uh, switch the sides, which is kind of nice. And they still got the mercenary mode. There's actually three different campaigns. Oh, this must be the area. Makes me sick seeing good soldiers die like this. Oh, those are herbs. Watch out. <laughs> I think they still have the mixing system in this as well. Green was just to heal you. Blue was to get rid of poison. Leon, are you there? Red was just to make them stronger. Hunnigan. Good to hear you're okay. Where's Helena? She's not doing too good. She needs medical attention. Do you have any herbs left? A few, but I'm not sure they'll help. Okay, listen. Just follow my instructions. Alright. Select it. Combine. Combine again. Makes this complete. Place on a tablet. And you give it to her. Hold on, Helena. Too many good agents have died here today. You're not getting added to that list. Leon. <sighs> this fucker better back off. He better back off. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> fucking kidding me? Oh, 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 get it! <laughs> Fuck off me, bitch! Ah, he's gonna take a teeth! And. And. Fuck you! Jesus Christ! Just leave it in there, dude. What? Please tell me he takes it out. Can't let your guard down for a second. That was a perfectly good knife. It really was. Oh shit, there we go. How do you feel? I think I'm gonna be okay. Thank you. What are you doing? You need to get out of there. Now! We're heading to the quad tower. What? No, it's too dangerous. There are BSAA agents there with survivors. I can't abandon them. All right. Then let me help. I'll direct you through the safest route. Thanks, Hunnigan. I've sent over the field guide to your PDA. You can always refer to that in a pinch. So it's still got the little co-op aspect. I'll be playing this single player. I know you can do co-op just like the Resident Evil 5 was. Except you had Chris Redfield in that one. And the lovely co-op system was pretty horrible if you play with the computer. So hopefully this game's a lot better. I'll be giving you guys an honest review. What the fuck? What the hell? That's what I should have said. <laughs> he kept it kind of PG. P PG-13, excuse me. a plane in the side of the building? Again, Jesus we make Christ. It the tower this way? Yes, just keep moving in that direction. Oh yeah, this will be easy. You can actually, let me, well, I'll, I'll show you in a minute when I have more time, but you can actually change the cursors. What other guns we got right now? Fucking shot. Shotgun's where it's at in Resident Evil games, guys. I'll actually go ahead and show you the other... That, oh, the quick shot's pretty fucking sweet. That's a brand new trick. That's awesome. I like it. Oh fuck! Get the fuck They're coming out of the woodwork. Where's the lightning hawk? There it is. Ready for it? Oh, she's doing work. Let me show you guys some combat. Oh fuck! 
Harrier. And it's the yeah, it's time to get the fuck out. And this is what was kind of like heavy rain to me. This shit is crazy as fuck. Look at this. Soak that shit in. Over here! Get in! Oh, I'm getting in there. Hang on. I'm going fast enough, am I? Go, 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 go. What the fuck? Already, there's a death. My name is Brad, and welcome to Resident Evil 6, bitches. Talking about survival horror, right? This is fucking Independence Day. Over here! Get in! How the fuck did we go from zombies to this? There we go! Shit! Oh fuck. Oh, get off me, zombie! <laughs> he gave him a little nudge with the face. Pull off. Pull up. This is absolutely ridiculous. Just a few more blocks. What what is the song? What the fuck are you doing? They're like, oh shit! Here's one! Oh that's so much easier. Ah, oh, come on! Shit! Hold on! What the fuck? That was some absolute Matrix shit right there. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. <laughs> You all right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So the game is broken into three different campaigns. You got Chris's, somebody else's, and then Leon and uh, hers just kind of continue. I think this is more like the main one, so. I'll probably continue this and I'll definitely do the others, so. Stay tuned. Something doesn't feel right. And if you're subscribed to my channel, you'll definitely see it. Uh, it really does help out when you guys like the videos, especially the first part of every series. It does help out a lot, so much love to all of you.
Back for more. Alright, so what you just saw was the prelude. Uh, it actually ends right where you saw it in. And from there, I'm going to continue Leon's campaign, and then I'll do the other two. I'm just going to kind of go down the list. If I can do them all at once, I will, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. So, anyways, let's get to it. Bioorganic weapons are a global threat. Start working with the rest of the world. We have to come to my desire to reveal the truth. It might create more problems than it's time to take responsibility. We want to have any chance. I've always valued your friendship, Leon. Stare at where you are. Mr. President! Service since last year. I can't tell you how good it is to hear you two are all right. Look, I hate to rush introductions, but I need a report on your situation. I. I just shot the president. What are you? He had already been infected by the time we found him. Leon. Leon did what he had to. He saved my life. God help us. I'll submit the report. You two just focus on getting the hell out of there. The virus has already spread three miles past the campus perimeter and it's not slowing down. You need to hurry. Not before we check out Talok's Cathedral. Agent Kennedy's got a lead that might tell us who's responsible for this. Leon, is that true? Yeah. I think I might have something. Roger that. I'll map out the safest access route. Keep your radio on. I got a lead? You will if you come with me. Adam, I'm sorry. So what's so special about this church? You have some sins to confess? It's hard to explain. You may not believe me. So what's cool is that we just shot the president, apparently, and uh, in Resident Evil 4, you were actually rescuing his daughter. I'm guessing that's the same guy. You're gonna tell me everything once we get to the cathedral. Deal? And the, the, the way the game controls, that's a fucking creepy poster, or painting, excuse me. The way it controls is just like five. Uh, right now I can't run or anything, so I guess you're just kind of forced to walk down this hallway. But I've actually been playing since the first Resident Evil. I think I, the first one I ever actually played was two, and then I went back and played one. And then three Nemesis was pretty kick-ass. But uh, two I've played the absolute shit out of. <laughs> I even did like the Ada Wong stuff on the side quest whenever it came out, so... You see one of them, aim for the head. It's your best bet. Got it.
This is where the reception was gonna be. They'd all be here eating dinner right now if... You think anyone survived? I hope so. All we need is a safe with a, a Gatling gun with infinite ammo. <laughs> I can't Some of that this Leon A. Claire again. B. It's just like Raccoon. You were one of the survivors. Yeah. I'll never forget it. We're going to this cathedral of yours. But if you really did have a hand in this, you can kiss your freedom goodbye. I know. I didn't actually show you guys this. Let me show you the uh, the menu really quick. You can do all the different things, equip skills, and you got uh, game settings. I think the way this works is you can just, yeah, it's just, it's basic stuff, really. Camera dashing. I actually play inverted, high sensitivity type stuff, so it's pretty cool. And you can change the cursor to just do the laser like it was in 5, or you can just, or 4, four and 5 had like the same type laser. This one's got a new kind of spread to it. Oh, what there he that? goes. Only one way to find out. Let's go. They automatically run in this game. It's kind of different. Can't go that way. All right. Can I go this way? All these fucking chairs. You already know. I'm kind of curious. Other than the question I asked earlier in this video about where you found my channel. Uh, or the first video you saw of mine. Or series. I'm kind of curious when you guys got into Resident Evil stuff, which one's your favorite? Other than, you know, we're experiencing this for the first time, or at least I am. So, can't really throw this one in the mix just yet. Two was definitely the mine, though. In the back. I'm gonna start busting caps in this bitch. I think, I think, like, the best part about 2 was that you could swap it up and have different, you know, sides to the story. Which is kind of, like, why I'm glad they split up the campaigns in this game. Like, in 5, you can only have one campaign, then you have, like, the mercenary. Whereas this one, you do have the mercenary stuff, but you also have, you know, three different campaigns you can do. It'll add different elements. Wait! Don't shoot! <coughs> Are you alright? The fog. What? The fog. It came out of nowhere. Liz! Wait, let me go! It's too dangerous. My daughter, she's all alone. If we don't do something... All right, I get it. But if you don't keep it down, you won't live to save her. You understand? Liz. Is that your daughter? All right, let's find her. Leon, we don't have time We're to- We're making the time. Liz, where are you? Of course there's a sidetracking part of this. It'll add a good element to this, though. It's, uh, it's something that I was kind of curious how this story was going to unfold. We're going to run down church. This is a big-ass church. Oh, God. Fuck? Liquor, is it? No, I guess not. How about that? You I'm can scared. actually dual-wield the guns, which is pretty cool. If you look down there on the bottom right, you got the little... I guess your little inventory system, and you just quick... I don't I don't think it's really necessary to have... What the... Ooh. Giant rats. Those are some fucking huge. Look at those rats. Look at that. Ra I feel like Chris Tucker from Rush Hour. Look at that rat. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we Stay going? Stay sharp. I don't like it. Oh, bitch. What are you doing? Oh, that was kind of weird. Glitching. Where did my man go? Where's he at? He's up here. Yeah, okay, I see him. I was like, where the fuck did he go? Is that my shadow? Right, that was me. That's pretty cool. He's got the little light on his head. Look at that shit. Hang on. Ah, stop turning. Damn it. 
You see it. You get a good general idea how it is. That's quite a draft. We need to find her. We will. Just stay close. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna be good. Nice dark area. What the fuck is all this? Liz! Liz! They should bring back the giant alligator. Or was it a crocodile? I can't remember. The one in Resident Evil 2. <laughs> that shit. He had to shoot the propane tank. Oh, come on. Really? Is that him? It's your daddy, Liz. President Adam Bedford. Where the, where the fuck did my man go? Here we go. I'll go search upstairs, I guess. Oh, I thought he was about to turn. I was like, okay. Yeah, I actually heard that they brought back Ada Wong for this game, but I don't know if she's just like a mercenary character Wonder or what. how much time we have before these corpses are on their feet. You alright? Oh, he's dead. So the way the virus is spreading apparently is through like a mist in this one. Or I don't even know if it's a virus right now. I know in 2 they had the T-virus and then it just kind of spread out and then uh... I don't know if it's, if it's raining it's gonna be like Return of the Living Dead. That's why this guy's probably right. flipping out. Kick I will his be ass. once I find my daughter. <coughs> I called her cell, but, but we got cut off. I know she's here, somewhere. Look at this! Look at this fucking smile! Look at that! That's a creepy smile. This kind of reminds me of like the Evil Dead 2 uh, type thing. The fucking deer head started moving. We'll need to get the elevator working again. It's locked, but I work here. I've got the keys. Once we're in, we can take my car. Thanks. Now let's find Liz and get the hell out of here. Liz? Liz, is that you? My man here is about to get bit, and I just have a feeling. Do any of you guys remember Resident Evil 2 when you had the... Uh, it, they, that's before they did the mercenary. I think 3 was the first time they ever did the mercenary stuff. But 2, they had the survival mode. You had to beat the game and get like an A ranking with like both characters to unlock it. Then you had to save it on your memory card in like a different slot. It was a lot of work. But you played as Honk and Tofu. And that just, that hallway kind of reminded me of like the videos I used to watch and that shit. I actually Careful. beat the Honk version, but I never did beat. Tofu, that's fucking ridiculous. All you had was like a knife, and that's it. And a bunch of blue herbs. <laughs> she was all armed already. Oh shit. Look at this. Okay. I'm not Dexter, but hang on, let's see here. Spatter pet. Looks like looks like there was a sign of struggle right about there. That <laughs> should be fine. Oh fucking bitch! The shooter? Okay, never mind. She scared the fuck Liz. out of me. Dad, where are Mom and Liam? They, they already got out. They're waiting for us at home. It's like I hate to break it to you, honey, but Liam's out shooting Taken Three right now. Oh, uh, let's see. This looks like, uh... Looks like... What, what the fuck? What the hell even happened here? Did she kill him? Or did these chairs kill him? That is the question. <laughs> Let's go ahead and head back. Let's get serious about this! How do we get out of this place? The underground parking lot. The elevator is up ahead. Hopefully it still works. 
Oh, what the hell was that? So far, it's uh, it's a pretty solid story. I'm kind of, you know, kind of confused where it's gonna go though. Gotta move Let's get this out of my way. I'm glad you guys were here. I mean, can I just go ahead and kill her now? We already know what's about to happen. You know, she's gonna turn if she's not already turned. Harder than it looks. Oh, oh my god, really? I didn't shoot her in the head. Oh, oh she did <laughs> she did that anyways. What about the other guy? I I can't believe this. Well get used to it. It's either them or us, and they don't hesitate. Why did this have to happen? I don't think we're alone in here. Elena, grab your gun. Shit! Don't let him in! Fuck back! Look at that guy! Oh, so close quarters, I couldn't even do shit. Is there anything back here? I'm staying away from that shit. Is she, is she following me? Yeah, she should be. I don't see if there's anything I can grab. This looks kind of like the parking lot from 2 where you meet Ada for the first time. That's our cue to get the hell out of here. I couldn't agree more. Roger. It's too late. There's nothing we can do. You're right. Let's get the hell out of here. 